All right, YouTube. Today we're gonna do a recoil on a PB250 LN here, right here. Two PB250 LN. Um, of course, any of the parts we use or tools we use, we'll put in the comment section down below. Um, if this helps you in any way, make sure you hit that subscribe button. All right, let's get going. All right, so this one needs a call on it as well. Um, the guy had ripped it apart himself, obviously, and, and you know, this rope's a little short. He's missing the pawl. So I had to use one sitting aside. Um, I'm going to use an impact. This is a 13 millimeter. Just pop it right off. No problem. And then this one, go right back on. Righty tighty, lefty loosey on this on this contraption. All right, then we'll get right into the uh, recoil. So it, you don't want to take this apart without cutting the rope, um, or the spring will be tight and it'll spring out on you. You want it to be nice and loose, you know, there, make it even click a little bit, so that the spring doesn't come shooting out at you. Getting the spring back in is a big pain in the butt. You don't want to have to do that if you don't have to. Get a, there it is. All right, all right, and then oh look, that's that's why it was so short. Yeah, it's tangled. Nice. Um, something to grab this rope out with. Pointy thing around here. There we go. Gonna pick. Just get the rope come out. Done. All right, and then the new rope. Um, I think this is three millimeter. I'll put that in the. Uh, you know, I'll put some rope in the, the description for you too. I need your lighter, Robert. All yep, right. and he's got to go get his stuff. Schmeagle. All right, and we're back. He's got his lighter. All right, you like the end of the rope? You're just trying to heat it up a little bit and get it to be hard and pointy. That's what she said. And you go through the recoil first. And you find your hole here. Get in there. Tie a square knot. Pull it real nice and tight. Get it down in here good so that you don't have to uh, get hung up on the spring or anything. Just get it in there nice. Now I'm going to want to line this little spot up with that hook on that spring. Drop it in there. You may have to wiggle it back and forth. Oh look, I have a rope mess over there. until it drops all the way down in like that. Then put your screw back in. All right, now we're going to, oh, yeah, is that good? It feels all right. Now we're gonna pull this out here. We're gonna get it in that little slot right there in the to pull as good as you can. And then uh, we'll do three turns. One, two, three. Hold it. Pull it too. Oh, that didn't do nothing. <laughs> we'll do it again. One, two. We'll just do two this time and see what happens. I seem to have lost it. Oh, oh there it is. Oh, okay, that's five total. See, it's coming out and almost binding up. You don't want it to go any more than that, or it'll bind up. Um, cut off the extra. Light it with a lighter. This rope out of here. Should have done that first. Um, and then it's always nice to lube it up. I'm just going to dip mine in some uh, 
diesel fuel we have laying in the bucket here. Just cleans it up, makes it, makes it nice and smooth. And put it back on, and that'd be it. Here we good. Just screw it back on. Um, it's the, the he took all the screws out, so I got to hunt down new screws. Um, but it's a T27. I'll even show you the still tool on uh, um, Amazon, so that you can get that. It comes in handy. It's got the spark plug wrench and everything on it. All right. So uh, if that helped you in any way, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Anything you need will be in the comment section. Um, today's T-shirt. Peace.